Vincent was surrendered at the Story County Animal Shelter in Nevada, Iowa, where I work, and I took one look at him and fell in love and took him home. <laughs> he was very young at the time, but had an abnormality in both of his hind limbs. He was missing them from the mid-tibia down, and he was unable to walk. And it's a very unusual abnormality. We're not exactly sure what caused it, and determined that probably that left hind leg was not going to be salvageable in its entirety, meaning that his knee was fixed in hyperextension. It couldn't bend at all. He, of course, he was a kitten at the time, so his body weight was small, and as they grow, there's more and more weight placed on the back legs. With no feet or really legs to walk on, he actually was developing sores in areas on his legs. Putting these implants in his femurs was going to be the best option to give him legs so that he could actually walk for the very first time. The first time I saw him after surgery, it was scary, I'll, I'll be honest, because you don't normally see metal things poking out of your cat. It's extremely rare. In fact, I've had to guess there are probably less than 25 animals in the world who've ever had anything quite like what he's got. You know, a lot of times when people think of prosthetics, they think of something that's strapped onto a leg to allow walking. In animals, that's not a usually very viable option, especially in the femur or thigh where his, his injuries are there's nothing really to strap on. And so his implants go inside the bone and then traverse the skin. So he actually has metal posts poking through his skin. And that's very, very unique and a very challenging type of problem an implant to work to deal with. His bone is looking great, the implants are stable, and he's walking really well on them. So I couldn't be happier with how he's doing at the current time. I would anticipate that he'll be jumping and doing really normal cat things very soon. You're normally a cat like him that came into a shelter um, would you know not have a future because the, his injuries were you know pretty staggering. But um, you know it's you do what you need to do to make your animal successful. I think that this does open the door for us to be able to help other animals that have similar problems. And even what we've learned just through Vincent's one case, we've actually refined the technique and the implants so that the next cases we do moving forward will be even more successful.